Good morning. As you can see, we have Tibetan monks here this morning. And um, I have a few things I want to say first. Um, the first one is we have an, several endowed funds at the school that enable us to bring a variety of speakers in the arts and history and music and um, ethics and so forth. And this fund that's where we're making a donation to the Drepong Gomong monks comes from the Pajuano Lecture Series in Philosophy and Ethics, established in, in 1999 by Daniel and Nancy Pajuano, parents of John P. Pajuano, the class of 1999, funds a program of visiting speakers to support philosophy, religion, and ethics at the Taft School. So this, this is a wonderful fund throughout the year. Many of the speakers come and we can offer them a stipend, a gift, um, because of the Pajuano. So we're grateful for their generosity. On last Thursday and Friday, the Dalai Lama spoke at Western Connecticut State University, and I was fortunate enough to have tickets to go, and a few students, a couple of seniors in my Buddhism class went, um, Al Nejma and Jeff Cracky, and I <laughs> did want to take out the whole class, but th very hard to get tickets. They weren't on sale to the public, and um, but the monks who chanted there came, before the Dalai Lama came out are the monks from the Drepong Gomong Monastery in southern India, and they are here with us, and uh, they are traveling around the East Coast on a mission, and I want to read to you uh, their sacred, what their sacred tour is all about. Now, they've been here in the past, different monks from the same monastery in South India, and a few things, what, what they're doing is, number, is, A, is to make a contribution to world healing and peace, so they're going to be working on a peace mandala, and a mandala in the, in the um, Potter Art Gallery. A mandala is loosely translated from the Sanskrit, it means circle. And it is what it is, is a cosmic diagram. And um, it connects us, the infinite and the finite world together, both the world beyond us and the world within our mind and heart. And this particular mandala is to bring peace to the individual, to the community here at Taft, and to the greater world. And we see circles around us, all in nature, in the sun and the moon. If you, if you observe things, you see circles everywhere. And we have a circle, a family is a circle, so our community is a circle. So it's a deeply symbolic, uh, meditative symbol. So they're here to do that. They're here to be uh, recognizing well and very deeply that there have been great tragedies in every part of the world. We all know that. Uh, we want to share our sympathy and prayers together with you as human beings, sharing this planet and sharing the future of our home. C, they're here to generate a greater awareness of the endangered Tibetan civilization and human rights abuses in, in Tibet. The situation in Tibet is becoming more and more desperate by the day due to massive displacement of Tibetans by Chinese citizens sent there by the communist government. And ever new rules and difficulties, especially at the monasteries, we need your help now. And D, to raise support for the refugee monks community in South India for proper food, improvement in health and hygiene, and for providing better education facilities for the monk students and to preserve their tradition and their culture. So one last thing, um, I want to read a quote from the Dalai Lama, which I think is really important. It's an article written in a, uh, one of my Buddhist magazines called Shambhala, and uh, where he's writing on education of the heart. And I think far too often in our academic communities, not only private prep schools and our great colleges and universities, we, we enthrone the intellect. And intellect is always to bow to the heart and uh, be in harmony with, with the heart. The heart, the, that place within us, where compassion is born. So the Dalai Lama says, my hope and wish is that one day formal education will pay attention to what I call education of the heart. Just as we take for granted the need to acquire proficiency in the basic academic subjects, I am hopeful that a time will come when we take it for granted that children will learn as part of their curriculum the indispensability of inner values. And those inner values are love, compassion, justice, and forgiveness. So with that, I want to introduce to you our wonderful monks. There are seven of them, and there's also a driver. Uh, um, our leader is uh, Geshe La Jumpa. And um, Jampa and Sharab, and Sopa, and Rabya, and Sonam. And of course, Dekyang, who I met. And our driver is um, Tenzin Dever. And he is, uh, Tenzin's a common name because the, the 14th Dalai Lama's name is Tenzin Gyatso. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to the monks. Welcome.
Good morning, everyone. And first of all, we would love to say many greetings, and we are very honored to be with all of you. As mentioned, our uh, teacher both uh, about our monastery and originality. We are from Tibet and we live in India for the exile refugee. And also, we have a re construction of the monastery in southern India. And also, we have a nearly 2,000 monks at the times. <laughs> Uh, as about the, the first, uh, we asked uh, for two in United States, about mentioned us both, and also the, for the, we have a 2,000 monks, most of them are going to studying Buddhist philosophy in one, in a monastery, as like a university. <coughs> Also, this day, all the Tibetan biggest monasteries starting the uh, start about the starting uh, Western science, which always mentioned by the His Holiness Dalai Lama, which is uh, Western science and t Tibetan Buddhist science unity and compounds. We investigation each other, so we must have to learn. Western science, that's why we are good in many, many Tibetan monasteries, also our monastery, they recently starting to a class to the all senior class, they starting about the Western science too. So today we are here, have a good opportunity to creating cigarette art mandala. Means according to Tibetan Buddhism, they have a many kind of the cigarette arts and mandala. But anyway, today we are going to hear the which we call the interfaith world peace mandala. Means this to the inspiring and to, uh, to the people's love and compassion. Means uh, the, at the symbol of mandala, their center is the uh, symbol of art and drop and the tw 12 major religion symbols. Mainly, they have a many religions, but they, they have uh, only, we have a drawing all the uh, 12 major religious symbols. Mainly, they have a, all the <coughs> religion basically same message as love and compassion, tolerance. <laughs> As we know each of us individuals, and the very important in this 21st century to harmony and unity between different people, between different religions. So that's why basically all the religions, same message, and we have to have to increasing and the responsible of each of us, so we could one day, you know, uh, peace and harmony, unity in this world. <laughs> So this morning we are also going to some chanting custom of our Tibetan traditionals. But means of the chantings, we are going to prayer for the <coughs> Buddha and spread to prosperity for the all sentient being peace and harmony, unity. Whatever we means, and briefly in the you know just chantings, whenever we going to chanting and prayer, man purpose for the all sentient being to wishes to be happy and peaceful and compassionate. <laughs> At last, we would lo love to say again, thank you for the, all the students and all the uh, uh, teachers of the Thai school and the behalf of Dibung Gomang Monastery and the uh, behalf of Dibung Gomang Secret Art Tour Group. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>
Just a few things uh, uh, about the week ahead. Tomorrow, today they'll be here all day working on the Peace Mandala, and you can always stop in the, uh, in the art gallery, to talk to them, observe them. Uh, you can come into any, my F Block class this week anytime. A couple of monks will be there, my Buddhism class. Wednesday, whenever classes are, what, 11.30 or 12 tomorrow? Whenever classes are over tomorrow, we're going to be in the East Wing, and people will want to join us. Students, I've sent an uh, announcement to all students, to the different religious groups, to uh, students from China. Any, but anybody who wants to come, of course not obligated, engage in a discussion about Tibet, Buddhism, anything, any questions you want to ask, that's tomorrow, an informal luncheon. Thursday night, uh, we, it's complicated. I'm inviting them to sit down. We're going to figure this out. And they're going to be at sit-down dinner. And then right afterward, I know there are a lot of other things going on. At 7.45 to 8, uh, especially going to lead a meditation class. So we'll be in the faculty room. I have to check this, but uh, hopefully the faculty room's open. Friday, there'll be the dissolution ceremony, which it, it's, we're really busy here, but at 2.45 during that meetings block to, before sports, sweep up the mandala, take, have a closing ceremony, make a procession out to the pond and we, where we dump the sand in the pond, a symbol of the impermanence of life and how we're all interconnected. So those are the things going on. I think I've sent a schedule out. I'll send it out again, but come talk to me if you're interested in any of these things. Have a great day.